Hey guys, I'm Wild Willie. In light of the storms we had this past Sunday in Ontario, with tornadoes, hail, high winds and torrential rain, it left thousands and thousands of people across the province without power. Some for only a few hours, some for a few days. But the worst of the storm seemed to hit after dark. That's why I want to touch on lighting and how important it is. It's important to have various sources of light for the time of shift or an emergency situation. Now my choice, number one, is oil lamps. If managed proper, they're hard to beat. My second choice is solar and LED lighting. And my third, of course, is fuel-filled lanterns. You can get a variety of fuel-filled lanterns, whether it be propane cylinder lanterns, ones that run off kerosene, or one like this that runs off Napa or Coleman fuel. These things are relatively safe, easy to operate. Now don't get me wrong, they're mostly made for outdoors. But I would feel very comfortable having this on my kitchen table in a well-ventilated area in the spring, summer, or fall if I had all the windows open. This one's a single burner. And it runs about 8 to 12 hours a tank, about 8, 8.5, 9 on high. It puts out 893 lumas. And with right now, the price of Coleman fuel is starting to drop, and so are these lanterns because everyone's in the LED market. These things are a great backup. Coleman fuel, you can get a 4 liter jug for under 20 bucks, and it stores relatively well in the garage. There's an absolute necessity to have short term and long term lighting. You don't want to get stuck without it. Lighting is a great psychological boost, and it makes life a lot easier when you're trying to prepare yourself for a long term outage in an emergency or shift situation. So remember, guys, whatever your choices of lighting are, Make sure you have long-term and short-term lighting to make your life a lot easier when the shit hits the fan. I'm Wild Willie, and remember, it's not a question if the shit's going to hit the fan, it's a question of when. So always be prepared.